tell by the red line at the top of the VO fit that the battery is dead, so that means we need to put a new battery into it. So let's get started. This is my watch, and we're going to be fixing it because it died. Yes, the red line. So the easy way to get it out of the case is just kind of push from the back and pull it forward, slide it out, discard easy. the handle. Then it's just the four screws on the back we have to take out. Mm -hmm. Always remember to get a parent to help, guys. Okay, the batteries we use, it's a CR1632. You can buy these on Amazon. There will be a link in the description that goes to this. I bought a six pack. I think it was right around $7, so pretty cheap fix for a kid's watch. But let's get taking the screws out. You got these four screws on the back. One, two, three, four. We'll undo those screws and then lift the back off. Okay, these tiny little screws just need to come out, so we'll quickly do that and then get right to the battery removal. They come out really easy, so just when you put them back in, make sure you don't over tighten them or you'll crack the plastic and then you will kill the ability of this being waterproof and make sure you undo them all the way. That is a big fat yes. That is a big fat yes, definitely. So once you get it apart. Well, you're going to have to take it every time you're off swimming. And take then, it apart. Yeah. Okay, so once you have that apart, just take the old battery out. Yeah, easier said than done. It just pops right out like that. Discard it. Notice there is a little blue gasket. Make sure that gasket is in line when you put it back together. Okay, now we're going to put the battery in. When you put it in, make sure that the writing on the back is face down so that the little... Tingly pot. The dingly pot. <laughs> yeah. The little part on the bottom here, that's where the power is going to come from. So that's what needs to make the connection to these two little prongs right there on the, ba on the back of the watch. So Tripp's going to put the watch battery in. Make sure it pops down into place. Then take the watch and put it over the top. Make sure the seal is good. Put it back over. You'll feel it. If it fits right, you'll feel it. It goes in. You'll do a little bit of a pop and then we put the screws back in. This is so easy of a process to do. One, two, one, two. Okay, Tripp's going to finish putting in the last two screws. Last two. You just do it tether snug. You don't do it tether tight. I mean, you do it tight enough, but not over tighten it because you'll break the plastic. You got it, bud? And remember not to push too hard. Got it? Can you get both of them real tight? Where's the last one? Uh, that would be this guy right here, I think. Okay. Get really tight. Oh, you're undoing it. Other direction. Other direction. Oof. Spin the screwdriver nuts. You was doing it the opposite way. Yeah. This way. Good job. Did you get it? Just in all the way. Raise it through. Raise it right. Now just get it this direction. Okay, this way. This way, this way. I think so. Yeah, we do. All right, now yeah. it's time to put the watch back inside of the watch bin. Okay, now that we've replaced the battery, you can see that we actually have incorrect time until we sync it with our, with my phone. So to put it back in the band, just slip it in like so. Put your finger under there, give it a little tug, and boom, watch repair done. Okay, so now Tripp's watch is all set and ready to be synced. So if you like the video, click like. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be adding some more videos soon. So thanks for watching. Bye!